just when you thought you were safe from spiders in the ocean, guess what? There are somewhat marine spiders. This is Desis marina, a type of, you guessed it, somewhat marine spider. Now these guys live on the coasts of New Zealand and New Caledonia, and they have a very, very interesting strategy. These guys are also known as the intertidal spiders because they live on the coastlines and make their nests in the crevices of seashells or in kind of pockets of bull kelp. They build their nests here using very, very water-adapted spider silk, which helps keep them safe and dry and have available oxygen for up to almost 20 days straight. They have quite a low metabolism and low respiratory rate, so that means they can just live in this little pocket of air made entirely by spider silk for quite a long time. Now, as far as I'm aware, these guys don't actually get in the water themselves. They cannot swim and cannot be submerged, or they cannot swim very well, rather, but they do still live inside the water for quite a while occasionally. Once the spider finds a suitable habitat, again inside a shell, in a bull kelp holdfast, or even in the abandoned burrows of tube worms, they will construct their little tent and seal it up inside until the water retreats back into the ocean out of the intertidal zone. These guys are mostly nocturnal and they feed on things such as amphipods and other small invertebrates, even occasionally being seen eating small fish. They are typically ambush hunters and don't actively hunt as much, but they can and while usually solitary, they have been spotted in groups of two or even more. These spiders have a slightly different silk composition than the entirely terrestrial spiders have, and this helps with waterproofing and stabilizing the silk nest so the spider doesn't get swept away or drowned while waiting inside of its little tent. And while not a lot of research has been done into the venom, these guys are venomous and as far as I'm aware, there's no real human bites recorded. However, in bites on other animals, such as dogs, it has been reported that it causes a lot of swelling and partial temporary paralysis. So definitely do your best not to get bit, obviously, and be aware that if you are around the coastlines or even in the water of New Caledonia and New Zealand, there may be spiders. 